everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Susan Timchak and I'm here to share with you a fun sewing project. Um, my channel is a variety of different things from stamping to sewing to unboxing to well you just never know what I'm going to be doing. But um, I wanted to share with you these fun um, oh, my mind just went blank. These fun fun um, mug rugs. That's what they are. Hello, mug rugs. Um, these are so fun to make and if you're brand new to sewing or if you are experienced in sewing, you can make these too. Um, I had some charm packs and um, if you don't know what a charm pack is, it's, it's basically a pack of fabric that's cut five by five and usually it's all coordinating colors in that. So, um, like for instance, um, I mean, this is another stand. These two were part of the charm pack, and they came with all different colors. And um, I didn't know kind of what to do with them. So, um, of course, where do I turn to? But I go to YouTube to just type in charm pack projects, and I came across one from the Quilters Guild. I think it was the Quilters Guild, and um, what she showed was she was in the same boat. She had the charm packs and she was kind of playing around with them, not knowing what, what to do with them. So um, she kind of took step by step and, and it was easy enough for me. I mean, I've been sewing for years. I'm by no means a professional. Um, I just kind of dawdle with it on and off. And I haven't sewn for quite a while, but you know, the, if you've been watching my channel, then you've been seeing some of the different things I've been sewing. So I'm in sewing mode. So um, I saw this fabric on Etsy, and um, it was a quarter of a yard, and it was really inexpensive. It was only a couple dollars. And if you don't know, I do have a pug, but she's a pug mix. But um, she resembles the pug in many, many ways. And uh, when I saw the fabric, I thought, oh, yes, I have to have this fabric. So um, I made up a bunch of these, and I'm going to share these with you at the end of the video to show. Um, I just kind of did these last night. I mean, they're really quick to make. I have a whole stack of them. So um, let me show you how easy they are. Now, I'm not going to actually do the sewing, but I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process. Now, this was a quarter of a yard of fabric that I got from the, the Etsy shop, and it, it wasn't cut into a charm pack. So if you don't have a charm pack, but you have a lot of scraps laying around, you can do this any size you want it to be. So you would actually go ahead and um, put your little mug on there. So if you're at work or you're at home or, you know, you just want to protect your tabletop instead of, you know, one of those ugly coasters, you can use this. And the best part about this is that it's reversible. So you can flip it over to the other side if you choose. So uh, let me show you how quick and easy it is to make these. So what you're going to need is you're going to need three of the charm packs. I mean, I'm sorry, three of the charm <laughs> Yeah. No, hello, not enough coffee or maybe too much. Three pieces from the charm pack or um, go ahead and cut yourself um, a 5x5. Five five, um, and I'm looking at this one. I'm seeing I didn't cut that one right. I cut it the wrong way. Uh, there was another piece I had somewhere, though. That's probably where that one came from. This was probably the scrap. Oh, well, I'll find it later. Anyhow, you'll have three of them, 5x5 five by five, five by five size. So I kind of picked two, which was my favorite, which of course are the, the pugs. And then I did one with another color. Now, depending on what you're doing, you know, you'll have this uh, color coordinating. Okay, so you'll take three of them. All right, so the next step, what you want to do, let me put this aside. The next step is you want to go ahead and sew them. Okay, so you're going to take the two that are alike, and you're going to take the one that's a little bit different. Okay, so then what you want to do is you're going to sew them. Now I sewed them about a quarter of an inch seam. You know, totally up to you how you want to do it, whatever you feel comfortable with. So after you've sewn the two together, and make sure you put the right sides together when you sew. So you'll right sides together sew that one, right sides that one. Because the first one I did, I sewed it the wrong way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it happens. Okay, so next thing you want to do, and this wasn't something she recommended, but this was something I found helpful. Um, you want to go ahead and press your seams. So I have this fun little tool that I got from Yvette, and she has an Etsy store as well. She's a fellow YouTuber, and um, 
she was selling these on her Etsy store. They're just a couple dollars. And they're actually to help you when you're doing your seams. I kind of went over this in my unboxing when I received it. So um, it's back a, a few videos. So this comes in handy. We want to open up these seams like this. So I have my little iron here. And uh, what I'm working on is just this quilted kind of protector for my table. Because, yes, I do own an ironing board, but do you think I want to bring that out? I mean, I don't even iron. I mean, the way things are now, when the dryer buzzes, you empty it, hang them up, and you're done to go, right? So, okay, so we're going to open up these seams. And uh, this little iron I got from Amazon, and I do own a, a big iron. But this one is just so handy um, in my craft room because, I mean, my craft room is filled with, you know, crafts. So there's not a whole lot of room to be putting an ironing board and a big iron. This is all I really need is a little one. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and do that. And while I'm doing that, I want to go ahead and just going to press the whole thing. I just love these pugs. Let me put them this way so we can look at them. But look at the faces. And I have to tell you, they if, if you know a pug or if you own a pug or you know, whatever, um, you can relate to these faces. <laughs> okay, so the next thing you do after you do that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to bring them right sides together. Okay, so you're going to meet your edges and you're going to do this. Now you can finger press this, but while I'm here at the iron, you know, I just, I'm just going to iron it. Okay, like that. So then you'll have this. And um, then what you want to do is grab yourself some of this batting. <laughs> I really have to write a script because I keep forgetting my words. Um, and you want to cut it. I actually have two layers because this is a kind of thin batting and I want it a little thicker. And this is not like that mushy, mushy kind of batting. This is, um, I forget what they call it, but this is, mm. anyhow, it has a low to it and um, it's a nice batting to work with. So you want to cut it the size, depending on what kind you're using, the thickness, the same size as this piece here. Okay. So then what you want to do is you're going to, I like to lay it on the top when I sew it around and then, oops, let me grab my pins. Um, I like to pin it just because it keeps it together. And the reason why I do it this way is I can see going around and this low pile kind of batting doesn't get stuck in my sewing machine when I sew. So I'm just going to pin just to hold it together. And I kind of only really do the ends. And that pin has to go just like this. And you will notice sometimes that your batting may stretch a little bit. So, um, you know, when you're done, if you find that, you can just go ahead and trim it. Okay, so now you're going to want to sew, but on the bottom you want to leave about an inch and a half, maybe two, um, a, a space here, so that because we're going to turn this inside out. So you'll start here and go all the way around to here. So leave yourself a little opening, and um, so then the next step. Okay, so here it is. I left myself a little opening. I stitched all around. Then I took my scissors and kind of got rid of some of the bulk of this um, batting in here. And these strings are everywhere. So there we go. So next you want to do is you want to go inside here. And we're going to turn this inside out. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? All right, we'll turn it inside out. And you want to use something to kind of help get in your corners. Um, you want to be careful not to use anything too sharp. So I have this little thing that you use to thread elastic through. So if you had like a casing and you needed to thread elastic or cording or something. So I'm just going to use my fingers first. To just kind of poke out those ends. And then we're going to go ahead and use this just to go into all my corners. And I don't know what that was, but that sounded like something just blew up outside. Maybe a transformer or something. Let's hope it's just that. But we just had a uh, round of thunderstorms going through. And um, they were kind of really crazy. I could see from my window here, like, this bolt of lightning across the river. 
Whew. Carol, I hope you're okay over there. Okay, so here we go. We have this. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to push these to the inside to make yourself a, um, a seam to close that up. And I just kind of use my iron to kind of press it. And this is why you want to remove some of that um, batting that was there so that you'll be able to get a, a nice seam. And you don't have to worry about whip stitching the seam. Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness, I'm so, so excited. I'm going to take one of these to work with me tomorrow to put on my desk. Right next to Aurora's picture. Okay, so you'll put that together. You might want to use a little pin just to kind of hold it. Just like that. And then what you want to do is you'll want to top stitch all the way around it. Okay, so then when you're done, you'll have this. Now what I did is I did a little zigzag along the edges. I don't know if I like that. I kind of got crazy doing that on my ones last night. And I don't know. You can choose to do that or not. Um, you can choose to quilt this if you want. If you just want to take a quilt um, a stitch going down this line here with the two of them join. Um, you can do all different ways. On this one, I just kind of did the end because I kind of didn't want to stitch over their faces. I wanted, you know, I didn't want that distorted. So um, that's as easy as it gets. I mean, that's it. Three pieces of fabric, um, a piece of batting, and... Um, your sewing machine and thread and pins and, and an iron. I mean, that's all you need. So let me share with you um, some of the other ones that I created. Um, I was in a Halloween theme because I have a Halloween charm pack. And um, if somebody's out there watching, you'll probably know who you are that I made one for you. <laughs> Somebody that loves Halloween. Um, so this one here was my first one. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I did quilting all going at an angle on there. And I left this part black, back, <sighs> plain. <laughs> A blank is what I was going to say. And so I just did lines. And I didn't really, you know, do it any in particular way. Just use the presser foot when I was sewing and just made lines. Um, now here's another one. And see, they are reversible. So if one side gets dirty, and you can, you know, turn it over. So this one is fun because I love these spider webs because they're almost like a metallic -y. And this one, when I was done, I just did an X in the center. So I thought that was fun. Same with this. I'm running short of time, so I'm going to have to speed this up. And I want to do a giveaway. I want to give one of these away. So all you need to do is to post down below. You need to be a subscriber. You need to like and give a thumbs up for this. And um, I want you to post um, which one you would like to win. So I am going to give one of these away. Look how fun. All the different fabrics. And um, yeah, I hope you go and try to make them. This one's one of my favorite using a zigzag. Because they're really super easy to make. So for the giveaway, again, you know, just mention if you wanted um, like a paisley, this would be paisley, a floral, or if you wanted Halloween, or if you want a pug, you know, up to you. Um, I have a couple pugs that I'm going to make, and one is going to another friend of mine who has a pug. It's a surprise, so don't tell her. And um, they're just so fun to make, and I just, you know, I just love making them. So be sure to enter the contest. Um, What's today? Today is July 30th, so I'm going to give you a week until next Tuesday, and I'll gather up the comments, and I'll choose a winner. So um, be sure to be a subscriber. Be sure to like, and give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to share this, I would love that, because that helps me to keep creating more and more videos for you. So thanks so much for watching, and uh, happy sewing. Bye for now.